Oh boy. So what's going on guys? It's been a while since I pushed the record button. I figured I'd uh, make a video. So I'm building some uh, Volkswagen motors. I got uh, two of them there. These are both uh, 1600 bus motors. It's a 1776. Apparently got almost all the parts for the 2110 here. Got the crank laid out, the sump, cam, cam gears, studs. Here's our cylinder heads. Just about done porting these. These are uh, ready to go. So 2110 with some uh, fire breathing heads on it. Should run pretty good. And uh, going through the cylinder heads over here. I got another uh, 1600 case here to build. And then I pulled a bunch of cranks apart for some uh, rods. So we got four sets of, looks like five sets of rods to take over to the machine shop. But I think a couple of them are uh, no good. Got some uh, Hans stuff going on here. There's a air intake and a strut bar and some tools here. He's doing a motor swap for one of his buddies. Here's some uh, more stuff up here. This is Noel's uh, brother's motors. This is Todd's engine. This is for a bus. 68 panel. I had to get that done. But uh, I ported a set of heads for it and uh, stuff like that. Got some high rev uh, bug pack springs there. C35 cams, some uh, scat lifters, some mall piston cylinders, some silver line bearings, a 30 millimeter pump. So that should be a pretty nice engine. Got toes. What's up, toes? What's up, toes? It's a little chilly this morning. TT shirts today. Here's the uh, car we're doing the swap in. It's got a K24. I think we're putting a black top or a red top. I don't know. Let's go take a look and see what's in the back of the truck. I like this body style much better than Hans's, but personal taste. There's Hans's ride. Still running pretty good. Obviously, it's running really good because he's getting motor jobs off of it. But uh, he needs a turbo. So he's going to upgrade his turbocharger when he uh, gets paid for doing this motor swap. Yeah. He borrowed his mom's truck, went and rented a U-Haul. I'm pretty impressed. And uh, here's the motor. Looks like a black top to me. Or a K24. Like a K24. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like a turbo motor. But uh, it's got some sort of stainless header on it and uh, stuff. I don't know what it is, we'll have to ask Hans. I thought it was going to be a turbo deal, but uh, maybe not aspirated. So that's what's going on here. Beautiful day. Beautiful weather. Finally uh, made it out of bed last week. Started doing some stuff. I think everybody's getting over it now in the house. So, uh, yeah. Time to get busy. Right, Andrew? Huh? So anyway, lower standards. Here we go, here's the car. Has some slotted rotors and stuff on it, and nice wheels. Elbow deep, that's the name of their club. Anyway, I sort of like these. I was gonna buy one exactly this color. And uh, believe it or not, Hans talked me out of it. It was a couple years ago before I bought my Mustang. So. So yeah, I'm not going to babble too long. I just wanted to put a video up. We'll try to get something up. Some uh, action videos later today of doing something. <coughs> Obviously, we've got plenty to do around here. So that's where we're at. I haven't touched a big block. Sort of been working on Volkswagen stuff. And uh, got the Volkswagen back here. Still stripping the hood. Haven't really done a whole lot. I started stripping it and I never got back to it. But that's sitting back there. I think I'm going to change this up around here a little bit. I'm going to uh, drywall this in here on this one wall over here. Put an AC in here and a couple more lights. I'm going to move the uh, mill into here, my engine bench, and make a motor room out of this in here. Because I build way more motors than I paint cars. So uh, I'll go ahead and put that up in here and uh, make me a nice little room that I can AC keep it pretty much dust free the occasional car that i paint can be done out here or i can put one over here a little boothy on this side 
the main thing is, is you got to seal this uh, ridge man up in the, the building. Seems like every time you want to paint, it's windy and there's leaves blowing around and stuff falls through the ridge vent. So that's why I originally built this room to uh, isolate the vent from the uh, building. But uh, I think I can make better use out of this for uh, building motors and stuff because I do a lot of that. And I can make it pretty cool in there. Uh, put an AC in it and some more lights and, you know, a little office type deal. And enjoy that room a little better than, you know, the occasional car that I paint because I'm not doing a whole lot of painting right now. So, uh, yeah, don't know if I get back into that or not because of the lung issues and stuff. But so I got plenty of Volkswagen stuff to do. And, uh, yeah. Hans will probably get into doing some of the mechanical work. It seems like he's more into the mechanical stuff than the paint and body, which is fine with me. And uh, that's what he wants to do. We'll make him a nice place to do it. So, and uh, there's plenty of room to paint a car in this building. And if I wanted to, I guess I could always throw a booth up next to this. I just, uh, I don't do a lot of paint stuff. And I got a lot of friends with body shops. So where it came down to using a booth, I could get a booth. Here's where we're at on that. No rust yet, thank God. <coughs> Went a lot of body work in this, just a lot of uh, a lot of built up paint, a lot of paint. And uh, this was done a while ago, so it's uh, it's got no edge primer or epoxy on the steel. It's just uh, glass earth primer directed metal. And uh, it's holding up really good. I thought it let go of the metal on the spots that uh, lifted up, but it was actually lifted off the purple base coat. I think I covered that before, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna probably take these doors apart. I can't seem to find any doors, as odd as that seems. There's uh, less and less parts for these cars that they made millions of, but uh, probably strip those doors, try to take the Lexan windows out, and uh, at least put a one piece uh, window kit in there or something that I can roll down so I can get a little airflow in the car. And uh, other than that, 73 still sitting here crashed. I haven't worked on that, but it's not rotten. It's been inside, so that's good. And the Nova's sitting too. I haven't really done a whole lot. I was in the building for, a, it was a month. This door was closed. When I finally did open it, I got all kinds of cobwebs in the building I had to knock down and stuff like that. But uh, I'm back out here now and uh, I'll try to start making some videos again and get back at doing a couple things. So here's our uh, motor that we took to uh, South Carolina that ate the rear thrust bearing up. I got that fixed. Added uh, board and uh, stuff. For some reason, the front bearing didn't want to fit really good. I talked to JC about it. And I had another motor that they did. It was the same way. So instead of employing that bearing there, I'm gonna use the uh, Two piece bearings in the front because they fit really nice. I don't know if it's a, a bearing manufacturing thing or the cutter, but uh, that bearing fits real well in there. So I'm going to use two, uh, two center bearings in the front there. Well, it's the bearing back from the actually, this is the rear bearing. This is the front of the motor. The flywheel is actually considered the front on a Volkswagen. But anyway, you can use the uh, split bearing in the uh, third position here and we do that on a lot of race motors because it's a much better bearing it's more robust than uh, the circle bearing is it's a uh, steel back a little heavier duty don't usually do that on a stalker but uh, I think we'll be better off on this one if I do that what's up boy you like being on camera huh that's mr. toes if anybody wants a you know real friendly cat I got this one kitten left from the last litter, and I got one kitten left from the uh, last kittens that I had. So I'm down kitty cats. I think I've got four of them though, out of 20. So I've been doing pretty good. Thanks for taking the cats. But anyway, that's what's going on. That's my uh, other case that I put together, and I uh, took it apart. There was nothing wrong with it, so we just cleaned all that up and. Uh, We'll go ahead and re rebuild that one. And then this is a, a dude that walked in. This is a 1776. And uh, I'm just going to build a short block 
I don't like doing that, but I've done it. So I'm gonna uh, put the crank cam, degree the cam in for him and stuff. And uh, he's gonna put his top end on. So that's where we're at on that. And uh, yeah, cleanup day and swap day. So I'll get the camera rolling when Hans gets out here, gets motivated. And uh, I think his friend has to be at work at 12. They stayed out real late last night, so uh, hopefully they can get up and stuff like that. So Andrea started waking them up at 7, so. And there's Hans. He's looking a little rough. Hey, man, that's not a turbo swap, huh? Well, you get another K24? What is that? SR. SR? Yeah. Hans, you can't talk this morning? You got something stuck in your mouth? Pizza? So anyway, we'll get started on that swap when Hans gets back. Till then. You guys have a goody goody.